now we thought about kind of a rental setup. So we've got our guitar equipment. We're gonna have people come in and re rent the equipment. We'll set up an estimate when they call in and request the rental. We're gonna want a down payment when they request it so that we will hold on to the equipment and if we're not going to give it to somebody else and make money on it elsewhere we want to make sure they're committed to the transaction that's why we want the down payment and then we can then create an invoice that will will seal the deal when they pick up the equipment or possibly when they return it and then of course we'll deposit and so on so uh we set up in a prior presentation in the lists drop down item lists the kind of things that we would need to rent. So we could have, for example, all of our equipment is rentable and we're gonna, and then maybe we'll make groups of those equipment, but that's quite complex. It's a lot easier oftentimes to say, hey, look, this is the base rental set. It, it, it has two guitars, it's got a microphone, it's got an amplifier, a drum set. That's what you get for the set price of the 2000. If it's more than what you need, it is what it is. That's the baseline that we have here. If it's not enough to what you need, then we've got some add on stuff for, for like a drum set. We added on a, like a drum set or I'm sorry, we added up an advance for the, for the amplifier and another guitar, for example. So that's the general uh, setup. So there's, there's our items. 